Election Day has finally arrived and several LGBTQ plus candidates won across the country yesterday. Much of what I do as an elected official when it comes to constituent service is distributing food, personal protective equipment. Richie Torres became the first Afro-Latino member of Congress for New York's District 15. He beat his opponent by 88%. Torres has definitely made history. I will be the first openly gay African-American member of Congress in United States history. The fact is, for most of my life, I never imagined that I could run for Congress, let alone get elected. I grew up in the Baptist church for most of my life until I was around 24 years old. I worked really hard to hide the fact that I'm gay. Mondaire Jones is black and openly gay and he won his race. He will represent New York's 17th congressional district in the U.S. House of Representatives. Now we have Tory Harris challenging incumbent John DeBerry who was thrown out of the state Democratic Party. And right now Harris is garnering 79% of the vote and John DeBerry 21%. I'm just very excited that we finally have a representative in the state of, of Tennessee for District 90 who is going to listen, empower, and serve not just some, but all of District 90, all of the Tennesseans. Uh, we've worked very hard. We ran an amazing race in 2018 and this year in this race. In the state of Tennessee, Tory Harris, an openly gay black male who won the District 90, made history along with... Eddie Manis, Annie Mattis is openly gay as well, and they became the first two openly LGBTQ plus people ever elected to the Tennessee state legislature. Congratulations to them both. Politics was never in my plan. We have to stop waiting on an invite to sit at a table and work on building our own table and providing our own seats. That's why I'm running for state representative. This race is about community versus dollars. Shivran Jones won his race in the Florida State Senate and became the first openly LGBTQ plus person ever elected to the upper chamber. This was not an easy road for him as he had to endure a nasty smear campaign from his opponent attacking his sexuality. Shivran is 37. He is originally from Hollywood, Florida and he graduated from Florida A&M. He has been in politics since 2012. I'm used to getting up at 5.30 every morning to catch the bus to the public school where I teach. My routines have all changed now, but one thing hasn't. Every day I still worry about my students. That's why I'm running for state senate. To fight for New York where health care is treated as a human right where all of us have safe homes, where those who have lost their jobs can get by, and those who are still working get the compensation they deserve. My name is Jabari Brisport. I'm a public school teacher, a proud union member, and a proud book And I will be your next state senator. Jabari became the first openly LGBTQ plus person of color ever elected to the state legislature after he won his own race for New York State Senate. He and Shervin are now the only out LGBTQ plus black men serving in the state Senate. Sam Park won his race for the Georgia House District 101. Sam is the first openly gay man to be elected to the state legislature in Georgia and the first Asian American Democrat ever elected to the Georgia General Assembly. Sam is 35 and he has a BA, BS, and JD from Georgia State University. Adrian Tam ran in the Hawaii House of Representatives for District 22 and one. He had this to say, we did it. I am grateful for the opportunity granted to me last night.
it's a feeling that I can't really put into words, right? And when I think about it, I get real choked up. A lot of people don't know how much you risk putting your name on the ballot if you are not a white cishet man. And it was a lot of work to get here. Turner is a black, non-binary, queer, Muslim woman and a progressive community organizer. I'm adding Turner to my list of heroes. To be out, to be black, Muslim, queer, non-binary takes so much courage and I will be definitely watching out for Turner. Turner will represent District 88. It's where he talked about my being a female impersonator and how um, it just gave him confidence, you know, in general that he could be who he wanted to be. And, you know, so it almost sounded like he, um, you know, felt like he had to be pushed in this stereotypical uh, masculine box and that it gave him hope that he felt like he could express who he really is. And, you know, and that even though Eric Morrison was ridiculed for fundraising in drag, he won his race for Delaware State House of Representative. Also, he is Delaware's first openly gay man to serve in the Delaware State Legislature. I want to introduce Sarah McBride. Sarah McBride is a courageous young leader, and she is right now the first trans person ever to address a national convention. Sarah McBride won her election in the Delaware State Senate. In doing so, she becomes the first out transgender person ever elected to a state Senate seat in the United States. She received 73% of the vote. Michelle Rayner Goolsby makes history as the first black queer woman as a state legislator in the state of Florida. This is huge because Florida is very conservative and one of the reasons why I moved from Florida. Michelle describes herself as an unapologetic black woman and she won District 70. She tweeted that our team was led by a black woman and it was anchored by women and women of color. We won because we defined ourselves for ourselves. Kim Jackson won her race for the Georgia State Senate, becoming the first openly LGBTQ plus person elected to that chamber. Jackson represents District 41 in the State Senate. Hey everyone, Taylor Small here, and we are just 18 days away from Election Day, coming up on November 3rd. And so for those folks who have already submitted their mail-in ballots, since all Vermont residents who are registered voters should have their mail by now, um, I'm just going to go over what that looks like and how you can submit your ballot. Taylor Small won her election for the Vermont State House, becoming the first out transgender person ever elected to the Vermont State Legislature. She received 29% of the total in the two-seat 6-7 district. Um, in 2014, I came out as my true self and transitioned. Um, after having worked in a building for 25 years at North Wichita North High School, uh, where I remained until I retired back in June of last year. Um, equality has always been an important part of, of who I am. Stephanie Byers, who is Native American, won a Kansas State House seat and became the first out transgender person of color elected to a state legislature in the U.S. and the first out transgender person elected to the Kansas State Legislature. Congratulations to her. 2020 saw a rainbow wave with historic wins for the queer community. In the comment section, let me know who you learned about. If you voted for any of these amazing candidates and whose career will you be following thank you so much for watching this video and have a lovely day Bezos.